Hey everyone, my name is Mohamed bin Khalifa, I'm from Tunisia. I'm specialized in the creation content of video games and also for architectural visualization industry. I'm 3D environment artist and today we will be covering together how to get the most realistic 3D render using 3ds Max and VRK group. So since it's a very important topic to cover how to get the most realistic 3D render in the same time have a short amount of time of rendering. So without further doing, let's dive to the video. So here we are in 3ds Max and I will be just breaking down for you the scene. There is nothing fancy, just some buildings and some snow just over there. I have some trees and also I have a backplate. So I'll be explaining everything concerning this backplate and also a big backplate with an alpha transparency. So we can get uh, a backplate with trees and with sky without having to really put a real geometry so we will keep the render really speed so first thing is first i will be placing myself in the camera by hitting c and i will choose just the camera one shift f so we can frame the render the shot and i will be run an ipr session so you can see that there is no light in the scene it's black great so first thing is first is to get the overall light of the scene so i will be using just this backplate rounded it's it's simple uh, band plane so we have apply a band modifier to this plane and i will just go to material and i will assign just if you're a light material so this plane will emit light from both sides but in the first place when you will come with a color with RGB color with a power of 1.5 and go back to the IPR session I will place myself in the camera so just let me split my screen into two parts so I will be getting to viewport configuration and layout and I will choose the second template so here we are with two templates i will just choose here v-ray ipr so i will put myself in the camera so you see by just adding a color to the v-ray light material which is applied to the banded plane we start seeing things so i will just push the light so you can see the reaction of the v-ray you see it's reacting and we can start seeing some volumes so I will be neutral so the color of uh, this light source it doesn't matter really since we will use a very bitmap so just drag it double click on it and I will be called a texture so just I have to choose my folder this is the map that I want to choose just a backplate it's not casting really a harsh light, it's just an ambient light. So I will put this and see the result. So you see, and you have a really powerful tool so you can have your depth. So just I will be pushing here the intensity of light. So you can see 20, 10, 5, two and still with two it seems for me great lighting for that okay so the second thing that i wanted to make here is to add an hdri image so the hdri images is a still for a high dynamic range image so this image will cast in it uh, many apertures so the photograph that he should the the environment has a multiple aperture in the same time so it has a really deep range of color and light so you can use this kind of images and for the information the most important platform so you can grab those HDRI it's in HDRI haven this is the most important and for this case I have choose to use this amazing HDRI snow field so it's free you can download it and just by going to hdri heaven and you can find thousands of hdri whenever you want 
So I have already downloaded this HDRI in this file. This is it. And I will just use it. So how we can implement an HDRI lighting in our scene? So first thing is first is go by going to the light. And from the drop down menu, you have to choose V-Ray and from V-Ray, you will choose V-Ray light. So in the type of this V-Ray light, we will choose Dome and whenever you will put it, it will work. So the position, the location, it doesn't matter since it's in the scene, in fact. So here we have to mention that this Dome light is start to casting light in a hemispherical way. So the scene, it's already a little bit more lighting but we don't use any map until now so we, uh, we have to go to this material editor and we have to grab this V-Ray map so go grab our HDRI since it will cast the light from an hemispherical way so we have to mention this in the mapping type, we have to choose spherical. This is the first thing. So the projection will be correct. And then we will grab our map in the texture map and hit OK. And the magic happen. This is the same thing. And feel free to add to your scene a V-Ray Sun. So you can have a direct light not only just a diffuse light from the HDRI, so you can grab this nope, and have just to correspond this. Okay, something like this. I will be just changing the size of the sun to have more diffuse shadows. And also the intensity multiplier will go to 0.1. Yeah. Let's go. He's suffering, guys. He's suffering. 3DS Max is suffering. Okay. 0.25 maybe. Okay, great. So... This is the first basic setup, guys, for having the most realistic render in a short amount of time using HDRI and V-Ray Sun. And in the same time, I've been using a V-Ray light material. So you have ca covered the most basic and hope we will see you in the next session so you can understand more deep how to get the most realistic texture with the setup of light. So thank you very much for having me in this video and see you in the next time. Goodbye.